Right guys, episode three. We're starting off at my house today. We're gonna see the progress. I told you two weeks ago that the next time we come, you're gonna see a lot more, which a lot more has been done. We've got the roof on, we've got the floor fixed down, we've got the first fix electrics done, including the extension, we've got the first fix plumbing all complete. We've got dry liner starting, we've got the scaffolding coming down. It's all been happening over this past two weeks. So this is where we're gonna start. Let's go and have a look. Not much has changed in there, that's still a shit hole, that's just on back burn, it's already boarded first fix and everything, so just waiting for the skim to start in there. Kitchen, this temporary door, wall, wood thing has been taken down, we've rejigged it and just stuck it all on the actual door, so this, now you can get a feel for how big and how the kitchen is actually going to look. We've got a bit of stud work there, which needed to box off that little pillar so the kitchen can run flush along that wall and along the back there. Fridge is still about it. Yeah, fridge is still about it. Yeah, has it got food in all? No, it's fucking it's got beers in. Is it actually? Yeah. It's a lot. Tell me. Well, it's a bit early for a beer, but we might come back here to finish off. But, we would like. There were 12 in there on Saturday. <laughs> I hope that roof's, uh, yeah, in good nick. So everyone must have been half pissed when they did it. <laughs> Same again with the bedroom and the ensuite here, that's just been left because that's already boarded, skimmed. That's just ready to be boarded, so it hasn't really been touched. Our main focus has been on this extension. Remember when I said the doorway is going to be here? The doorway is now here. And out we go to the extension. We go out to the back bedroom and the back bedroom. This one's a little bit smaller for uh, any new uh, additions to the family that might be making an appearance. And then this one's slightly bigger. Uh, when, if that person comes, when he grows up, when he or she grows up, and maybe has a younger brother or sister that can go in there. Or until then, it's just a guest room. So we didn't have this in the video, but we did make a little Instagram post. Me and Ben, the camera guy, took a picture here, stood about this high, doing a, a daft pose. I think Ben did a bit of a dab. Uh, and we were stood here, and Ben, the camera guy, just asked me like, where would I, where were we stood on that picture? And we was literally here and he's struggling to believe that. There's more been done in this last two to three week than what's been done in probably about eight months. Office, just about cleaned out, all first fixed. I'm gonna have a, a desk here, socket there for the computer, radiator, another socket, light switch, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this as like my cave. This is gonna be like everything in here. She can do whatever she wants with decorating everywhere else, but this, I'm choosing everything in here. Chad and Boris from the Yorkshire Refurb Co. Oh, and Stu from SE. Can't forget Stu. Stu were a big help as well. We've got the OSB, all the roof, the EDPM. We've got my mate Tom. He's done all the electrics. Ash, there's new plumber that's I'm going to be using a lot more often, I think. Courtney's dad, who's doing bathrooms. We've got Ray, who works with Chad, who's doing all the skimming. And then Adam's doing all the rendering because he can't do the skimming. There's been loads of other people. All my lads that I work with have been here helping and Nick, Ewan. Done the footings, the groundworks, mix coming again this weekend to get all the drainage in. My mum and my granddad actually have loaded some blocks out for me when this extension first started. I've had Courtney's been here from start, she helped ripping out, she helped do a bit of boarding. I've even had Courtney's mum helping her dad here doing a bit of boarding as well. So there's been family that have been involved, my brothers, everything like that. They've been here on a few few occasions to help rip out and stuff like that, so yeah. So there's been loads and loads of people, like you can never do all like this on your own. A lot of people try and think they can and tell people they've done it, oh I've done this, I've done that, but in reality there's always a team of people. You can't like, there's an old Chinese proverb, here we go, I'm going off on one now. Don't drink the water out of the well without remembering them who dug the well. And that's always in my mind, there's always people helping you out, there's always somebody to thank. Uh, you can't get very far on your own, you've got to do it as a team, so. Thank you very much to all them people I've just mentioned and anyone else who comes to do a bit on this house. Hey look, my lad. How we doing? You alright? How are you? Yeah, not too bad. I wasn't expecting you this early. How are you doing? <laughs> 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 yeah, I've got a little YouTube going on. Yeah. Nathan Scaffolder. Scaffold's getting stripped today, so roofs have got them tiny little bits of gutter in that to finish off up there, but I can do that off a ladder. I can leave the scaffold down. As I said, I've got Mick and you went in uh, tomorrow, over the weekend, bank holiday weekend, to do a bit of drainage, so we need that scaffolding out of the way. As soon as drainage is done, we'll get another one back up all the way around the house for my mate I can start the render. Let's go. Where did you meet Courtney? How long have you been with her? <laughs> I know that you're young, but I know that you've been together a long time, so. We met at uh, Wakefield Wildcats rugby ground. She were dancing, cheerleading, and uh, I were a ball boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was ball boying and then uh, we met through a mutual friend. We, I went to school with this kid called Mike Calvert and I were on train on the way to the Waker game. We were playing Leeds Rhinos. And uh, I bumped into Matty, walked into the stadium. I was like, hey mate, how are you doing? Well, blah, blah, blah. He said, oh, I'm going to go to a game and I've got a mate who, who does dancing there. And that mate happened to be Courtney, so he introduced us, like, and then... Um, as any modern day relationship starts, we followed each other on Instagram, Twitter, added on Facebook and then just met up a few times and got on really well. Nice. Seven years later. So you've been together seven years, yeah? Seven years, uh, yesterday or the day before. Yeah, so you got very good going. Good going, that. Putting a ring on it and it's Oh, time. mate. One thing at a time, yeah? <laughs> oh, speaker, that is mad. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this. In October, we've got a new recruit starting at JDM Brickwork. His start date's not exactly pinned down just yet. Um, this person's job role ain't quite been finalised just yet. But today we're gonna go and meet this person. We're gonna go see this person, see if this person is healthy, see if this person is well, and um, just keep waiting for this person's start date in October. Scan done. It's definitely a boy. Due October 2021. This boy is going to be the second best bricklayer in England. <laughs> oh, buzzing, buzzing, aren't we? Yeah, can't buzzing. wait. Come on. Right, now, yeah. Now we're going to go up to Rainton. We're going to see the boys on Rainton and see what's been done. Uh, take the day from there. Let's go. She was proper not shy either, she was like, look, there's his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, got a big head. Yeah, well done, good arms. <laughs> I was going to say, to you. <laughs> Brickhead. Oh, he's here, look. No, Jordy, lads. No. Is that 600 quid tax? Before tax, it's £1,773.20. But then send Will that 300 plus his travel. 300 minus his tax is 240 and then 50 yeah. cash for travel is takes it to 290 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cool, no worries. Right. See you. <laughs> the mortar is, uh, is very much. Uh, uh, yeah. Where's your hat, you? Wilson. Greg Fizzy, what are you doing for? Hide it on your fucking head. Um, I'm sweating bollocks off. Can't be on the video Sorry. now at all. Hide it on your fli flipping, flipping head. Yeah. Yeah. Wilson here is just scrubbing these bricks to make them look pristine for when the scaffolding does come down on next Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, we'll get a snag list from the site manager. He goes round, has a look, just before the scaffold's due to come down, sees if he noticed anything. And he's noticed a couple of things, but it's not major, so I'm happy enough. It's just a few little snots, a couple of little stains from where we've had some bad weather or where any bits of gobble have dropped down brick. Um, but apart from that, he's pretty happy, so Wilson's just going to have a whiz round here, make the brickwork look spot on. And then when the scaffold gets stripped, it should look mint. What's he using? He's using a bit of water, four parts water to one part acid which is down there, mortar and cleaner remover. Put a bit of that on, bang, 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 bang. Let that set for a bit and then give it a good rinse with just some clean, fresh water. Beautiful. Hello. You order some soup? Some soup? I think that's in time to make gobbles a little bit wet. Mm. Look at them boots. Soup you then, man. Soup me, yeah? Mm. But muddy ass as well. <laughs> It's alright, it's not too bad underneath. Is this what came today? I don't know. Was it yesterday? Just, what, just whatever Greg brought. I think it is from yeah. yesterday. Wow, it's like soup. Not one gap between level either. <laughs> <laughs> 
I did that. <laughs> I did that. But... Oh no. Wow, <laughs> it's, it's on a snot look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you scared me then? <laughs> Don't do that to you. What are you putting down on Fagarello's for your boxing match? Yeah, I'll still chin him. <laughs> you boxing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, for white collar. Is it? How soon you got that then? Uh, I've just started my training, eight week training. <laughs> it's not going too bad to be fair. Didn't you have one a couple of years ago? Yeah, I got so chinned. The comeback's on, innit? Come, yeah, yeah. How did you get on board with us? Ow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go on. Well, that was a laugh. So, all, they did, all you did was just ignore me, didn't you? You were like, no, I'm too busy. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, I've got some some mornings for you, but you know it's not worth your time. Too busy. Uh, I just get pestering. Just proper pestering. 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 Little, pestering. Just won't leave you alone. Just couldn't wait wait to wear one of these, could yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And then when, when I did, what? Not getting rid of me now. No. <laughs> what did you do? You did. You were on extensions, weren't you? Mm. Rarely done site work. Never. Never, Never done, done site work. work. Never done site work. All extensions. You come on. Now he's come on. He gets looked after for uh, he's just about running this job he's my mate Shady because I can't focus all my attention onto this job but when I'm not here Shady's just like an extension of me so any problems that any other lads have on site they'll come and see Shady Shady's work now is absolutely tip top tip top Tommy <laughs> no it's absolutely mint he's um, just like literally like uh, like my right arm so yeah he's going to stay well looked after and I hope he can Stay with us for a long time. You look after me, I look after you. Yes, my lad. <laughs> It's all been covered up now, but last time we were here, we saw that I'd walled to the wrong pin, I'd walled to the centre of the wall and not the outside of the wall. So we took this down, we've rebuilt it to the correct pin, and now it all runs through nicely. Solutions, not problems. Well, you can't. Oh shit! Oh. Oh no. Curry night tonight. I'm treating my boys. I'm treating Shady, Wilson, and Silky to a curry and a few pints. They've definitely earned it. They've worked like absolute dogs since, well, all of them since they've come Shady for the past year. Silky, since he's been here a few weeks, but he's absolutely smashed it. Wilson, absolutely smashing it. Alf is at college, so he hasn't really um, been with us for this past couple of weeks, and he's got plans tonight, so he can't make it, but. He would have deserved it as well if he were with us, they all do. I can't thank him enough, so tonight I'm showing him a bit of gratitude by treating him to a ruby, a ruby money and a few pints. Nice. <sighs> Nando's, yeah? Nando's now. Nando's and a curry? Nando's and a curry all in one day. Hey, what is this? Yeah. How are we doing? Alright. Hey, yeah. Say again. What size firm is it? The shorts are you? No, no, the fucking loads of us. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, where are you working? Gold. Gold? Yeah. Well, are you from around here? Yeah, from Oh yeah. Yeah, I've got a job in, up in Ripon and a job down in Cass. So there's a few, there's about eight gangs. What are your price? At the minute. Well, the different up Ripon, it's six, 600 a foul, 140 on blocks and all extras. Cass, I haven't managed to get all the extras, it's just straight 640 all in Whitlift. Yeah, take that number mate, please. There's loads of shit coming up all around here. Weatherby as well, if you don't mind travelling to Weatherby. What site are you working on at the minute? Are you working around here? Howden? Oh, you don't know way over here? Oh, did you? What about that, eh? Yeah, man, sound. All right, lads, I'll listen out for your call. Cheers. Sick, that, innit? How about that? Got all that on video as well. Did you get it all, yeah? yeah. Sick. Yeah, so three lads there, there was a spotted van. One of them took wrong turn in the wrong way to work. They're working goal, which is like, oh shit. The junction after this. Spotted van. Asked for a bit of graft. You bet your sweet ass there's a bit of graft. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. What you got? We tried to get a Nando's, couldn't get in, limited spaces, even though there are about 100 free tables, all this Covid and that. So we've resorted to a subway, I got myself a foot long chicken ticker with uh, 
red onion, peppers, lettuce, cucumber, and a bit of mayo. Is that your go to? That is my go to, and I'm really enjoying it. Nice. I've got steak and rotisserie chicken salad. Mm. Off we go to Castleford. We're going to catch up with Craig, see what Mitch and Cole have been up to. Flying visit on there today because time is running out. Uh, and then office. I just need to do one little thing in office. And then we'll wrap this thing up for episode three. Nice. Nice. LJ and Keith, the client for the job that's around the corner in Castleford. Craig is mint, as I've already said. He lets me have a desk in here every so often, just so I'm at my growing phase until I get an office of my own. Just got a couple of little bits and bobs to do in here. Just need to print some stuff off, scan it back to uh, other people, sign some stuff. We might be able to have a catch up with Craig as well if he's got a spare couple of minutes. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty pig. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think I'll jump in and drop some. Um, is this your desk that you've been telling me all about? Yeah. Do you want the like professional shot of you sat here? <laughs> <laughs> It's just real shit, this is as real as it gets in it. I'll get out, I'll get out, I'll, get out. <laughs> I'll play darts. Cheese. How do you mean I do? I pinch his desk, I pinch his ink, you pinch I desk, pinch his lock up. You've got a lock up, you use my power. I use his desk, his internet. I use my fucking paper, my toner. You use him as a witness. Fucking tea bags. And now I'm a fucking witness. <laughs> I'll say fucking JDM Rickard can't say fucking dog next time. <laughs> if you're offering. I'm fucking not. All these three in here are a pain in the ass. Shady's picking us all up and he's going to leave his car there. So you don't need to worry about giving us a lift. Yeah, yeah, he's going to pick me up, me and Wilson up, and then he's going to get uh, Ian's there. Skip man from the first episode. <laughs> Ian, my leg. Back at my house now to wrap up episode 3. It's been a good one, we've got through a load. The scaffold's been stripped on the house since this morning. The machine has arrived for us to start digging the drainage out tomorrow. We've had lots of progress on house, we've had a fair bit of progress on rain and we couldn't get into cast but we managed to catch up with Craig in the office. Got some other little bits of admin done, little bits and bobs and now we're back here just to close out. But before we do close out, I would like to thank you guys. I've got 1,000 subscribers. Uh, between me and Ben the camera guy, we weren't really sure how this was going to pan out to be fair. Let's just keep pushing for more, keep liking, keep commenting and keep subscribing. Let's see where we can take this. Cheers guys, keep your eye out for episode 4.